Okay, so our plan is this. I plan to make the power pack accessible through the compartment here. Because we do have this little, let me see if I can do this one-handed. So we have this compartment here that does open up a little bit. And there's a little in interior wall that can actually slide right out. So this will actually fit, this fits perfectly in there. It doesn't stick out. So I think that's going to be the game plan. I have seen people do some pretty creative things though. So we're going to we're going to see how that is actually going to work out, but basically this is going to plug into here providing power and then this is going to power into the board cuz we have switch, board, wands and speaker uh, jumpers right here. And then we have we have some additional components on here as well. Um I have to go through the instructions here, but this is what you get. Now this was extra now he on his website and through facebook you can message him but on his website this is where you order it you're going to order this separately this does not come with the kit okay the kit you see right there fix my camera so what you get in the kit again is this 3m strip this nice foam board that gives support we get the two wires we get this additional uh socket if you will and then we get the toggle switch here. And this is this is all you need to keep your pack constantly running. Now, when you do that, you are gonna be running on its internal power, which is gonna be those 4D batteries. And that's where I decided, you know what, I'm gonna spend the few extra bucks so I can get this wire. And if you notice, this is a nice long wire here, okay? So if you need to loop it around or you wanna mount your battery pack on the outside of your proton pack, I know a lot of people do, you know, maybe some 3M strips, Velcro on the back, you're good to go. You can do that. That's what we do with a lot of our full-scale packs. But with this, I want to conceal it inside the pack so, you know, no fuss, no muss. And you can't tell that there's something groovy going on with it. So, uh, But, yeah, this is going to be the next big project. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think I'm crazy? I'm like, wait a minute, he, he, he's going to modify a HasLab? Guys, you know I'm crazy. You know this. This is no surprise to you guys. I'm crazy, I'm deranged, you know. Dave's mentioned we're chaos and insanity reign supreme. So our next video is gonna be me disassembling the proton pack. Me going in. There you go, we got the instructions right there. Shows you where to put the board. Well, everything that comes with the board right here. Yeah. The inside of the board and all of our instructions are right here, guys. And of course, Additional documentation, and he's got QR codes all over the place. And I will say this, Frank and Geek is very respons responsive as far as if you want to message him on Facebook, go right ahead, and he's going to get back to you as soon as possible. Is he going to get back to you in three minutes? No, but he'll get back with you in at least a day or so. I mean, you know, he's he's got a, he's got his life, he's got his family, you know, he's got a business to run. So, you know, give him, give him some time, and he will work with you, no matter what you're looking to do or what kind of crazy questions you might have he is going to work with you guys okay so in the next video i want you guys to by the way if you're liking this video give me that thumbs up hit that bell for notifications so you guys can see what's going to happen am i going to fry this pack god i hope not um we'll see now i'm by no means an expert but we're going to be unscrewing the pack we got to take the alice frame off first then we got to unscrew the back so we can get into the electronics and get this going, guys. We are modifying a HasLab. Are you guys ready for this? Stay tuned, and let's see what happens, guys. But guys, if you like this video again, give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell for notifications. And guys, please stay up to date. We're going to do a so completely different video of me disassembling the pack so you can see the inside of the pack and see whether or not I'm going insane. Now... I do have some other mods that are going to be happening. Now, I've already done a few mods. The power cell light, actually, or the lens is a different lens. Let me show you guys right here. So I did replace that. Um, we did put a little yellow hose here. Uh, there is a caution striped one like this right here that I'm, I'm really tempted to do. My buddy, Merritt, uh, he did it on his. Now, I just had some caution tape, and I just threw it here. I might change that up with something a little different. I used to have like a kind of a mellow metal flake reflective tape, and I think I might do that to that. But my buddy Mirren also, he, him and a few other people I've seen, 
have actually replaced these faux uh, wires with uh, real wires and real rivets to, I mean, I'm really tempted to do that because it looks so damn fantastic. But yeah, guys, we're getting ready to modify the Spangler HasLab. I'm insane, but guys, you want to see my insanity? Stay tuned to the next episode so you guys can see the finished product. And did I mess it up? Did I do it right? Let's see. But guys, until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting. And you know what I'm going to say. I will always catch you on the flip side. Take care. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're going to do here is actually we need to take the Alice frame off. Now, I already have the uh, brackets here on the Alice frame. So we need, to, we need to take all these off before we can even start. Because you got to take off this so we can actually get into the screws to remove the, uh, well, to remo remove the motherboard itself. So I'm not going to make you guys, don't worry, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me take it apart. So let's just skip ahead. Okay, guys, so um, I had some trouble with um, the screws, so we actually had to go with some bigger screws because these screws, they strip pretty quickly. So now once you get this, once you start to pull this up, you may still have a few screws left in these channels here okay that's perfectly fine we're lifting this up however what i did ahead of time was i already lifted this up and you want to make sure you unplug this from the board before you pull up too hard because otherwise you could pull off you could pull this out of the soldering we don't want that okay uh, let me show you what i'm referring to now on here we have some wires that lead up to where the battery bay is okay now, I'm not really concerned with that, but if in the future I ever want to reutilize the battery bay, I want to keep all these wires intact, okay? So we're going to remove that right now. Okay, guys, so now that we have the, the motherboard off the pack, now, like I said, a lot of screws were not easy. Um, now, I, there's a little tool set that I use called iFixit. Uh, the little tray works perfectly for being a nice little tray for the uh, Phillips heads. However, <clears throat> honestly, just using your regular screwdrivers you have laying around your toolbox are going to be what you're going to use. I tried using the iFixit, but its neck was not deep enough for the reservoirs where the screws are. Now, I don't like opening up the pack too often. I don't know how well you're going to see this, but basically the head is pretty, pretty well stripped. Whoa. So we have that. Now, <clears throat> the, as per the instructions, the first things that they recommend you doing. Okay, we want to remove the Alice frame. Done. Remove the bumper and cyclotron lid. Remove the inner cyclotron cake. We've already done that. Using a small Phillips head screwdriver with a long shaft, giggity, remove the 16 screws from the motherboard. We've done that pretty much more or less. We now have the pack open. Lift the motherboard from the shell and disconnect the battery connector from the circuit board. Set the motherboard aside. I've done that. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is the main board here. So, this is what we're going to be playing around with. So, as per the instructions, Disconnect the purple a wand connector from the main circuit board. That's going to be our little purple one right here. You guys can see that one. Okay. I might need to use two hands for this, so let's pause. Okay, purple is disconnected. There we go. We're going to set that off to the side. <clears throat> now, our next bit is... Okay, here we go. If you plan to connect an auxiliary speaker, disconnect the remaining connectors from the circuit board in the pack. We're not using an auxiliary speaker, so that's perfectly fine. Remove the, sc the screws from the circuit board. Use a soldering iron to install a speaker connector in the location marked SPKO. We're not installing a secondary speaker, so we should be fine. Reinstall the circuit board and, con and the connectors. Mount the Keep Alive board on the vertical wall. Now, when they mean vertical wall, they're talking about the wall right above here. 
as you guys can see we have the circuit board right here they want it on this back wall so to speak okay so that's that's what they're suggesting that we do here of course don't worry we're going to be testing everything out now of course when we're mounting the board they want us to use this vertical double-sided tape which is actually pretty thick here looks like a piece of foam that's just two 3m strip pads right here so that's what we're going to use against the wall and we're going to basically place this on the back side like so now there are some screw holes so if you wanted to do a special mounting you could but you don't have to that's why we have this for but of course this is going to cover up the very cool frank and geek uh marketing right you right there you gotta have your logos logos are cool just like bow ties okay guys as you can see we have we have all the wires are flipped around we have the board it is all wired up i did not attach it to the wall just yet because i'm trying to figure out uh some good wire management because i want to uh well i want to include the uh power pack into the pack i should be able to with some little uh, I don't know how well you guys can see this. Uh, there we go. With uh, some 3M strips, I'm going to apply the talent cell battery into here. That way, I can also charge with the door open. Voila. And turn the power pack on and off for safety reasons, obviously. So, I will admit, I did have some difficulty. I had to play around with the wires. And like an idiot... I did not, I was like, wait a minute, why is this not powering on? What is going on here? What is going on? And guess what? Like an idiot, I forgot to put everything back in. Now, when I say everything, I'm referring to the cover for the cyclotron. And the cake or the core of the cyclotron. Because, let me show you guys. We have these connectors here. Okay, they are spring-loaded, but they create a connection. So if you take the top of the cyclotron off you won't be able to power the pack on it creates like an error message so that's what was preventing me from firing this up to begin with yeah it took me about 20 minutes to kind of figure that problem out like the doofus i am so i'm going to apply some uh, 3m strips that i have because actually with me living li with me living in an apartment um we don't nail we don't do any nails into the walls or anything all of our picture frames posters everything in the in the apartment for me and mrs dimension is actually held up by 3m strips trust me it is a nice solution if you're renting a home an apartment and you don't want to put holes in a wall 3m strips are definitely the way to go and i've used them before in packs but this will fit perfectly in there nice and flush i can use the little side door I can open up the side door, put the charger right in, bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, we're good to go. I see, I wish there was, maybe if I could move things around a little bit, we could. Now, obviously, I'm going to leave the side panel open because there was a, there was this little sidewall here. We took that out so wires could fit through here. Now, I am not great at soldering. My soldering skills suck ass. So, um, we're just using, this is the toggle switch that came with it. This turns our our nice little uh, keep alive switch is right here. Now, they do give you instructions on how you could play with, because there is a dummy switch that's under the gearbox, under the... Uh, crank knob that you can play around with that and you could create a switch now i'm not that great with soldering my soldering skills like i said are sucking ass so what i'm thinking of doing is i was thinking of drilling a hole like right here that way i can have the toggle switch you know right here and i could toggle it on and off and it's kind of out of sight out of mind so that's one thing you could definitely do. Uh, for right now, I'm probably going to leave it just like this for right now. Because uh, it's actually late at night. <laughs> but also, see with the power supply here, 
Now, there's this wire right here. I'm going to have to cable manage this as well. This just goes right in. And, you know, we can have it a little stowed in. It's not going to stick out. We're going to be able to close this, open it, and close it without any issues of any kind. Another thing I could try to do... Let me just get this slide him out. Is, I mean, we could try something like this right here. Where we're keeping this kind of accessed right here. But it's going to be, it might be a little bit of a tight pinch to try and feed the uh, charging wire in. That is one thing. But there are a couple different options we have at our disposal. So I have options here. I have tons and tons of options. I mean, again, we can play around. There are some 3D printed frames that you can get so that this slides right in. A lot of people, a lot of makers out there have made some pretty amazing things. But suffice to say... So basically, we took the one wire, which was the purple one, out of the board. We plugged it into here. Then we have a wire that goes from board into the wand slot. There we go. And then we have, of course, our keep on switch. So those are the three wires we have plugged into the Franken Geek Keep Alive board. Okay. And then we use the USB wire that I bought separately through Franken Geek, so please go ahead and get that through him. And that plugs into the power supply, and now we can run the pack perfectly. So there you go. It wasn't too complicated. Now, cable management's gonna be a thing, and like I said, I probably won't won't set this up here until set it up on, on the inside top of the pack until everything is situated and I have a solid, solid, solid game plan because as a computer person myself, cable management is definitely a must. I mean, if you saw my uh, Ben and Ken pack, God, that is a big ball of spaghetti inside. It's a big mess. So, yeah. So what I'm thinking is definitely I'm going to probably do a little drill hole here. So I can have the toggle switch sticking out. I can turn it on and off. And we're going to figure out a good, a good solution for charging the, uh, the talent cell. But I like this idea of it kind of like sitting in here, but I don't know how how conducive that's going to be. Yes, I like using words like conducive. I mean, I do like having it right ka. But I don't know if we can get a facade to kind of cover that up, you know? I mean, yeah, it works perfectly. It's functionality. Do I need this to be perfectly pretty? No. But, you know, it's a nice little idea. It's something nice and fun with. Now, I could close this up. But I think I'm going to leave this... I'm going to leave my pack opened up for a while. Uh, because there's some other mods I kind of want to do. And I think it just is going to make sense to keep the pack open until then. But this works perfectly, guys. And I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay, guys. So, I buttoned up the pack... All I really did was just pop the, pop the, the back of the motherboard in. Um, it's not screwed in, but it'll stay for right now. I reapplied the core of the cyclotron with the cover, the bumper, everything is back in. Now, I am going to have to, it looks like inside, for me to fit this power cell in there, I may have to cut the cavity for the battery compartment. That's fine because we're not going to be using batteries anymore. So here we are. Plug it. Oh, yeah, we don't want that to happen. We just reposition it. There we go. So we have this in. There we go. Whoa. Stay up there, buddy. So I do need to do some work on the inside, but this is with the stay alive board inside. So, yeah, yeah, I already tested it. It ran for 10 minutes, perfectly fine. Uh, ran for 15, it's not going to shut off. So, yeah. So, now that we got the Town Cell Power Pack running, we have the toggle switch on to the on position. It's going to run nonstop. And it's still, if you notice, there are a few pieces missing because when I took all the screws out, I take all the screws out. 
I can put those back in one, two, three, very easy. But I figured this, with as fragile as the screws are, which is fragile, with as fragile as the screws are, I figured, hey, if I'm gonna go do other mods, well, let's do them now before I need to button up the pack again, because if I had a double of a time opening it now, it probably is gonna happen again. And right now I'm not really, I don't have any events lined up personally that I need to wear this pack for. So I can leave the pack open and I can work on a few mods that I wanna to do to it. And in case I do have an event, well, I still have my Ben and Ken pack. But yeah, the, the Frank and Geek kick, uh, kit is, I definitely recommend it. One, I've done a few, uh, I've done a few events with my Spangler pack, and it is annoying that after about three or so minutes, it cuts off. It is annoying. I mean, you want your pack to be running nonstop. This way it will. Now, some of the mods I'm going to do in the future, I want to do some more, uh, I mean, I like the weathering but I want to make it my own, so to speak, you know? Uh, Etsy, there's plenty of sh uh, spots, plenty of shops on Etsy that are doing some decals to make it, you know, because we can kind of see the LED lights going straight through. There, There's a few uh, vendors who have their own, like, weathering that goes over. There's some different levels of weathering, so I might do that. Um, I definitely want to do, to, in, to the inside of the pack, the core i want to do some weathering on that and there's also a few other people who've done some decals with it there's extra grommets little copper pieces you can get to put on the side here there's a lot of stuff you can do with the spangler pack and i'm going to be trying to do some of it i'm glad i did not screw up because i seriously thought i screwed this up i seriously thought i fried the board i didn't it's working awesome <clears throat> again frank and geek includes instructions front back there we go guys everything's right there and also he offers tech support if you have any questions on the, on his items if something's not jiving right or maybe there's a problem that he you, you think he should definitely know or maybe a defective product there you go frank and geek 13 at gmail.com Guys, again, no, this video is not sponsored by Frank and Geek, but like I said, everything, I mean, he has step-by-step -step instructions. Me, I just, I'm not, one, I wasn't planning on changing the audio or, change, you know, replacing the speaker, which you can do if you want. Me, personally, that's not something I was planning to do, so I skipped that process. Everything is right there. Um, now, there is an option where you can, like I said, there is a... Uh, right there you can solder the board so that the toggle switch right here underneath the gearbox that is a real active switch inside the pack so you could take the wires from the uh like the the blue wires for the keep alive you could actually you know cut the switch off and do some soldering to that to that switch so then you can just control it on the outside me like I said, I'm not confident in my soldering skills. I need a lot of practice before I do something like that, guys. But I'm good having a little toggle switch right here. And, I mean, we could always... The wire is so long that you can move it to anywhere in the pack. Or even to the back of the like the motherboard. You could do that. I mean, there's a lot of different options at your disposal, guys. Hey, it's your prop. It's your pack. Do whatever you want with it. You want to paint it different colors? Rock it on, guys. But, yeah, we're going to be doing some more weathering here. Because, I mean, you see one Spangler pack. You've seen them all pretty much for the most part. But customizing it, making making it your own, that's where it's at, guys. Like, seriously, I do want to throw... Uh, I, If you guys have ever seen pictures of my Flux pack I made a few years back, I did a lot of the uh, three, uh, you know, the, uh, the old 80s red label, uh, you know, labeling. I might do something like that on this pack in a few spots and customize it for me, you know? It's something you can do, guys. By the way, guys, if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. Please comment, subscribe, hit all that good stuff, the red button, the bell for notifications, because I am going to be doing some more modifications to my Spangler pack here. And who knows, there may be some other props coming through the pipeline, but guys, see, it's still running. <laughs> it's still running. Yes. How much more can you ask for? And like I said, 
the instructions for the most part they are fairly simple the trick the hardest part is getting all the screws out from the back of the motherboard so you can open up the pack but like i said first things first be careful about the battery wire the battery compartment wire that is if you plan to use that battery compartment in the future it looks like i might be drumbling it out i might just cut that compartment out so that frees up more room for my uh talent cell power pack and don't worry about that because you still have the battery cover covering this covering up that cavity so nobody's gonna know they're not gonna know and that's another thing i could always you know leave this and create it create a little compartment where just this sits in there that's a thing i could do if i want to but you know what i kind of like the uh accessing it through the doorway here so unless i come up with a better idea that's the plan but guys until next time this is dave from dave's dimension saying keep on busting you know what i'm gonna say i say it every single time keep on busting and i'm always gonna catch you on the flip side take care